Okay, Earthlines. So this message is for the month of October. And the message I got for you all is that um, there is a need for some shadow work. And shadow work is, you know, basically that internal work that we have to do where we delve into, you know, maybe parts of our personality that we would rather not hmm, pay attention to. But as we move toward Halloween and as the veil continues to get thinner the time is very potent right now for you to throw yourself into the abyss throw yourself into your subconscious throw caution to the wind earth signs Taurus Virgo Capricorn Turn away from what's comfortable. Turn away from what's known and venture into what's unknown. And so we are going to delve into where your blocks are coming from, where your barriers are coming from, where your resistance is coming from. So for our earth sign, where is the resistance coming from? Where is the, beyond just the nature of earth signs in general, what is the source of this resistance to change? Okay, this is interesting. So we have prosperity and we have heart. Wealth. I mean, this is contentment, success, achievement, abundance. I mean, this is earth signs MO, right? Earth signs are represented by pentacles in the tarot and what I'm feeling, and I'm actually feeling it in my heart. And even if you look at where this figure's hands are, they are in the heart area and at the heart, oh my God. And then here it says heart right here at the heart of this issue, at the core of this issue is a fear of prosperity. Is this fear of prosperity linked to childhood? Is this, yes, yes. Particularly around the mother figure with this empress here. What I'm feeling is for some people, again, and here's cups, right? And cups is emotions. And it says, yes, right there, right? And so at a core level, at the deepest, deepest, deepest level, there is a wound. There is a mother wound here. So either the mother had, um, hmm. <clears throat> the, the, the mother's ideas of prosperity, the mother's um, ability to control her destiny. Perhaps you didn't see this growing up. You didn't know, Page of Wands, what actions to take. And maybe the father was not present, okay? This emperor is all about defending, they're about defending their land. This is the father figure. And we have the sun here in reverse. <clears throat> so I think there are some issues here with the parents. Okay. So if you came from a family where, you know, wealth was an issue, those feelings are still there. Those, those, po that poverty mindset is still there. The resentment to the mother is still there. The longing for the father is still there. And there's still uh, an insecurity, even though that's not what this card means, but this is what I'm hearing. There's still an insecurity about what actions to take. Pages are very naive energy. And so there is a stuck energy somewhere around six or seven years old. I'm, well, from six, to, from six to 10, I would say, um, whatever happened, from ages six to 10, what other, whatever sort of disruptions happened here, 
It could even be here if it is about institutions and things like that, particularly the courts. So I don't know if there was a custody battle going back and forth. There was a, you know, this is interesting if the father actually had more money or maybe the father had other children and the mother had to suffer and the mother paid too much attention because the father figure wasn't present or there's resentment again because the way the father used the money but there's something here about that for a specific group of people and so things are stuck here things are stuck here okay um, again, this is about institutions. So again, issues with custody that could even be sort of trickling out into your everyday life, right? And so maybe you were shuttled back and forth as a child, and now you are shuttling your children back and forth, right? Because of this early indoctrination and this outlook on institutions, I also feel like there's a, a lack of distrust in institutions with good reason but those things need to um be addressed because they are messing up the flow right they are messing up the flow and it says recovery moving on and finding peace and so that is the idea is for you to move on and find peace from these things that are blocking you and then we have the divine masculine in reverse so yeah i'm definitely again just feeling like some father stuff um with the onk new life in reverse and again that is just keeping you stuck so trusting again going into this shadow finding the light trusting that you have the answer and going with the flow really learning what going with the flow actually, actually, actually means and take it from theory to practice. And that's what I have for you for the month of October. I'll see you next month.